Hello friends, welcome. In this video, I will particularly discuss what are the dangers which are associated with following or quartering seas and I will also discuss what are the factors which lead to it and finally what you can do to avoid such situations. So let's get started. I'm going to be discussing the MSC Circular 1228 in this particular video and as you can see it provides you guidance to avoid dangerous situation in adverse weather and sea conditions. It's important that you know that there are certain conditions which are dangerous for the ships and each ship must better be ready because they are likely to face such a situation. It's important that you understand that the upcoming information is the general guidance. It may not apply exactly to every design of the ship. Then it is already assumed that you're complying with the intact stability code when you're proceeding towards sea and you're also taking all the precautions like securing of cargo, other objects and taking the heavy weather precautions. And the MSC circular also suggests the use of onboard calculation software which can be used as a supportive tool for decision making. Before I start shooting the information it's important that you understand a few important terms which will be used throughout this video. First one is the wave period. Wave period is the time taken by a wave to pass one single point. It is recommended that you observe the waves and see the foam patches and the time interval between those foam patches. That particular time interval between the foam patches that are forming is called the wave period. And also while observing the waves, you can compare the length of the waves with the length of the ship and estimate what is the length of one complete wave. As you can see in this diagram, from the point of crest to crest is one wavelength or as I explained earlier, from the point trough to trough where the foam is forming is one wavelength and the time it takes is the wave period. One method is observation, second is to use a formula as shown below 1.5 there is a relation between wave period and wavelength. Wavelength is equal to 1.5 times the square of the wave period or wave period is equal to 0.8 into under root of the wavelength. Once you have understood that, then another important term is encounter period with the wave. And this can also be calculated by observation, observing the pitching of the ship using a stopwatch and the period of this pitching is equal to your encounter period or you may use the given formula in the point number 1.6 below now let me tell you a bit about the period of encounter as you know a ship is always moving either away from the wave or towards a wave at a certain angle and the waves are also moving so in what time interval will they actually hit each other and this time interval is basically your period of encounter here is a diagram which is given in the MSC circular to calculate the period of encounter. On the right hand side you can see certain angles are given. These are the angles of encounter of the wave. And then your ship is moving at a certain speed and that speed is given on the x-axis. Once you compare these two and then project it on the left side to the wave period of the particular wave and you bring it down you receive the period of encounter. And now discussing the other terms like alpha which is to denote the angle of encounter. If the ship is from the head, it is called alpha is zero degree. If it's from the starboard side, it's 90. If it's a quartering sea exactly from right astern, it's 180 degree. Ship speed is denoted by V. The natural roll period of the ship is denoted by TR and L is used for the length between perpendiculars of a ship. Now that you understand the important terms, let me tell you about the dangerous parameters which you must tell the examiner and also you must know practically that if circumstances like these are developing that means you may be at risk. So when the sea is coming from astern that means a following sea or quartering sea there are certain dangers which I'll discuss but what you have to note is if the period of encounter and the roll period of your ship are in the ratio of 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 0 0.5 then it is a risky situation because your ship will reach a minimum stability once or twice during these waves. 
Secondly, during cotling seas, there is a risk of surf riding and broaching too. And this occurs when the angle of encounter of the wave is in the range of 135 degree to 225. Which basically means if you are heading north, so any wave coming from southeast to southwest quarter, then there is a risk of surf riding and broaching too. And when the average wavelength is larger than 0.8 times the length between perpendicular of the ship or the significant wave height is larger than 4% of the length of the ship, then again it is a dangerous situation. And finally, if the encounter wave period is nearly equal to double of the wave period, then it's a dangerous situation. And from this line itself, you can understand that your encounter wave period can only be double of your wave period when your ship speed is quite high. If your encounter wave period is anywhere between 1.8 to 3 times of the wave period, then you are in a dangerous zone. And now I'll go to the exact circular to discuss the dangers that are associated with all these circumstances. Here is the circular. And a dangerous situation may occur when there is a following sea or quartering sea and the waves are quite long. The first risk associated with such a situation is surf riding and broaching too. So this is what surfing looks like. And now she sitting on the board will broach too. So what really happens in the surf riding and broaching too is that the ship gets accelerated to ride on a wave. That is normal surf riding which is good because your ship's speed is increasing. The danger associated with that is that if there is a sudden change of ship's heading, ship will take a large healing angle and may even capsize. Second danger associated with following C is reduction of intact stability when riding a wave crest amidship. It must be remembered that when a ship is riding a wave crest, intact stability can be decreased substantially according to the changes of the submerged hull form. And this stability reduction is highest when the wavelength is from the range of 0.6 times the length of the ship to 2.3 times the length of the ship. This amount of stability reduction is proportional to the wave height. This can happen when the angle of encounter is from any direction. However, during the following or quartering seas, the duration of riding the wave crest is comparatively longer. Thus, the reduction of stability is for a longer period. Thus, we have to be prepared for a reduction in intact stability for a longer period during the following or quartering seas. Next is synchronous rolling motion. As the name itself says, synchronous, there is a synchronization of the ship's natural rolling period with the encounter wave period, thus creating a large rolling motions. And this can be dangerous when the transfer stability of the ship is marginal. And on the similar lines, there is parametric rolling. However, parametric rolling is quite dangerous and it can happen all of a sudden. There can be two reasons for it. One situation is normal when your encounter period is equal to the roll period of the ship or when the encounter period is approximately half of the roll period. Which means that these things are again synchronizing in a way that either the waves will hit the ship once during one roll or twice during one complete cycle of roll. Thus instantly increasing the angle of heel of the ship which can be dangerous if the transfer stability is marginal. Another factor that can cause parametric rolling is the flare of the ship. As for the modern ships like container ships which have a very sharp flare, when there is a synchronous rolling or a rolling where the encounter period is in the ratio of 1 is to 1 or 1 is to 0 0.5 with the roll period of the ship, there is a chance that while the ship is pitching, the flare will be hit by the wave causing a sudden increase in the buoyancy force. This buoyant force which acts on the ship suddenly can increase the angle of heel of the ship to a great extent and hence causing a parametric rolling. Then there is a combination of various dangerous phenomena. Now the dynamic behavior of a ship in the following and quartering seas is very complex. Ship's motion is three dimensional and there are various detrimental factors and dangerous phenomena like additional healing moment due to deck edge submerging, water shipping and trapping on deck or cargo shift 
due to large rolling motion may occur in combination with the above mentioned dangers simultaneously. This may create extremely dangerous combinations which may cause ship to capsize. Now that you have understood the dangers, you have understood the conditions when all this may happen. Let's understand how to avoid the dangerous conditions. For this remaining part of the circular, you will receive the information that I have given you earlier. Like if the angle of encounter of the wave is from 135 degree to 225, then you are in a danger zone. If the ship speed is higher than what is mentioned in this formula, then there is a risk of surf riding and broaching too. And here is a diagram which is referred to for reference. So you can see the angle of encounter which is given below. There is the ship speed which can be calculated by the formula. And if you fall under this, then there are chances that a ship may surf and broach too. Similarly, there is another diagram which will tell you if you are in the danger of parametric rolling or synchronous rolling. Finally, here is the conclusion. You know when the ship will be in danger. You know what are the causes of danger. It's basically a ship speed and from the direction this wave is coming. So there are two actions that you can take. You can alter your ship's course and or you can change your ship speed. By changing those, get out of the danger zone and stay safe to avoid a situation where the ship may surf and broach to and by altering the speed of the ship and course of the ship, you are taking the ship out of sync with the wave that is affecting the period of encounter and thus protecting your ship from the synchronous rolling or parametric rolling. I hope this was a useful video for you. If you have any feedback, suggestion or comment, then please do write down below. All the best for your exams and as always, thank you for watching.